What if now the police approaches me and I say, you know what, I don't think I want to dabble into this. I don't want to be a part of this. I, I'm sorry, but I feel like um, it, it's not going to um, be safe for me to partake in this. Um, have, I, have I wronged any law? Have I, you know, committed any crime? Am I aiding no, and abetting? No, the line is slim here. And, and let me say why I said that. Now, refusal to assist, legitimately to assist the police from arresting an individual is an offense. It's a misdemeanor. Refusal. Now, that refusal must be without justification or reasonable justification. Mm. It is excellent, the scenario that you painted. Now, a citizen has a primary responsibility to himself first about the protection of his right mm. and that's why in the cdhr we say my right is my right is my right is emphatic so i have a primary responsibility to defend my right to protect my right and stand by my right so if in the request to assist the police my life is threatened palpably so then i have a justifiable ground to tell the police no no listen it is not a situation of refusal but it is one of not being in a position to safely assist you. My life is in danger mm. and that of my family with palpable imminent threats. So I cannot give you this assistance. See, that the state requires the citizen to assist the police. It does not then transfer the responsibility of the police, the professional duty of the police to investigate criminal suspects to the citizen who does not have that training. So if for any reason you cannot get that assistance or support from a citizen, justifiably, not unreasonable refusal, then the police should return to that primary responsibility of the training and professionalism to detect, investigate, inquire into that criminal suspicion of that person and go after the criminal suspect. Mm. It is not the absolute responsibility of Henry Ekine, for instance, mm. to lead the police to where my life will be at danger because mm. I have a duty and obligation to assist the police. Mm. So this line is slim, but it exists. Now let's take a clear scenario where if indeed in going with the police to a place, they are probably kitted, they have the firearms to protect themselves, and then I am exposed to danger, but because I need to assist the police to a place, I will tell them, hold on, I can't take this step. But again, there may be a, a, a reasonable extent to which I can assist you. Mm. Maybe I can give you certain information. Mm. I can give you certain inkling, but I may not go beyond that point. It is not refusal. And all of these also depend on how you communicate with the citizen, all how right. you respect the dignity of the citizen.